Greetings everyone, Jack Lundell behind the voice, and in this video we'll recap an insane week on the CPKC Gold Sub and a little bit of CN action ranging from July 7th to the 13th. The Gold Sub's insane week featured a couple of heritage units slash military units as well as some KCS locomotives which ideally isn't special but has become more common in CPKC. So without further ado, let's start the movie. And off we got CPKC-236 at Vima during a light drizzle with the common CPKC-SG duo. I just love that K3L horn on the lead unit 8054. Next day, the CPKC ham sub received some good power. CPKC 236 had military unit 720 leading, and CPKC 238 had heritage unit 7019 leading. I previously planned to hit up Mill Grove to catch both until here in 236 went by earlier, so I then opted to try out the Hamilton. Then I overheard my scanner talking about 236 working at Aberdeen to make a set off, including a GP38 2. So I returned to Vima for the second day in a row to await for those two trains. It was worth waiting for 236, who had 7020 in the military scheme, leading along with KCS Tier 4. Jivo 5022. Very short train as a haul, 40 axles to 7 cars. Unfortunately, 238 never showed up as it turned out the train returned to London as 239 later in the day, which is what you heard on the scanner. So that was a shame I never evoked to film 2019, but hopefully I can try again sometime if I have the chance. The next day I was up early for a trip to Gulf Junction and it seemed pretty dead at the start. It was still drizzling from the tail end of Hurricane Barrel, but at least we were nearing the end of the precipitation period. About an hour later, a clear signal was given for a westbound, and that westbound train is the Toronto to Detroit bound CPKC 135 which tends to appear on the Gulf Sub between 4 to 6 a.m. every day. On this day, 135 took about 
30 minutes to show up since it's clear signal to go off junction. Eventually showing up after 7 a.m. with AC44 CWM 8123 and KCS ES44 AC GVO 4706. After hitting the gym and grabbing breakfast, I set up at the GO station at Milton East as an eastbound clear Gulf Junction, and that train turned out to be 135 sister equivalent 134 heading the opposite direction with CP8819 and KCS4662 each facing forward.
A series of events took effect throughout the day. A CP528 had dual NS units, one leading and one at the rear DPU, along with 7020 returning on 237. And nothing special was reported throughout the afternoon. The Gaul sub was dead for the day once 137 cleared with dual EC4400 CW Reds. Later, I decided to visit the Linden Road crossing at Mouthpost 13 Dundas sub to catch a VS78 with an interesting co coach consist I haven't seen in months. And to add to that sentence, CP528 appeared at midnight and CPKC237 also appeared at midnight, making those two night runners, which is a shame because we didn't see them in the daylight. After setting up in Linden, the first train of the night, CNE271, didn't take long to approach with a fouled K5HL horn on the lead unit. E271 that day ran earlier than usual, clearing Linden around 7.30 p.m. The Dundas sub lay dead for an hour, but not until VS79 broke the silence with F40PH 6457 West. Fifteen minutes later, CNM382 hauls a 70 car train towards Copetown West with 2849 solo and 346 axles.
kill off the evening session at Linden, VS-78 finally clears the crossing after 9.30 p.m. with P-42DC 911 Solo and four LRC coaches. The Dundas Hub hasn't seen VRL's LRC coaches in months, and it was good to see them for once. The very next morning, I took my parents to the Aldershot station as they embarked on a vacation. My initial plan was to stay at Aldershot all morning, but with no trains around, I got a little impatient, and I drove down to Lincoln to wait for 421 to pass. First round of the Grim City sub is go 1960, heading up the Union Station just after sunrise. While awaiting 421 to approach me, I heard 134 was reported out of London, so I needed to decide whether it was waiting for 421 or setting up in Campbellville for 134. And as I got impatient waiting again, I opted into catching 134 in Campbellville, and 421 passed through Grimsby just after 8 a.m. The traffic was rather smooth on the way with no heavy backups in the way. I originally planned to film 134 Puzz Lynch, but when I saw Otto sitting on the signing, I thought, is that him awaiting or on something? So I drove to the Guelph Junction, for good luck, only to turn out it was a false alarm, as 134 was still in Wolverton at the time. I headed west of Guelph Junction towards Mountsburg as the train showed up around 9.45 a.m. with KCS 4706 East, along with two other AC44 CWMs and 466 axles.
The last train clip shows CNM301 bypassing Aldershot Station with Veterans Unit 3015 and ES44AC 2819 trailing along with 584 axles and 143 cars. It was joined with two rail fans, the Grand River Rail Fan and the Canadian Rail Fan 1923. And that concludes the insane week of trains around the Hamilton area. And if you were enjoying this one, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bells on, and I will see you guys all around. This is Jacqueline W signing off.